Well, good morning. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing a KNCS 845A integrated amplifier. Um, it's just arrived this week, brand brand new, one of the latest models from the factory. So we're ably joined today. Steve's doing the videoing. Hi. And Gordon's here to help me with uh, the unboxing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about these amps actually. Uh, KN do an incredibly uh, in-depth range of amps really running from uh, just under a thousand pounds um, to their flagship monoblocks which also take us into five figures. But we could argue that the CS845A is probably the price point king in terms of performance against price. Um, just as quite sensational how it actually sounds. So I'm going to take you through the unboxing this morning and uh, I'm going to start with to zip the cords and zip the ties. And then we'll slice open the, the outer plastic. I'm thing about the packing with the KN stuff, they really do take quite a lot of precautions and they do pick a lot of boxes in terms of, of making sure that it arrives in perfect condition. It's always one of the issues when you have heavy amplifiers or heavy hi-fi equipment is, uh, is ensuring it's safe carriage. Um, but the guys at the factory, packing is perfect and they always wrap it to make sure that even the, the box arrives in perfect condition. So we'll just get rid of this exterior shrink wrap. and then just bits of tape at either end and then let's see what we've got under here so first thing you'll see is double boxing which is always nice would you like a bit of double boxing Gordon? I do love a bit of double boxing Gordon likes double Tr boxing triple's my favourite oh well okay triple's fine so open up you can see obviously we are using protective gloves but you do get a a set in the pack which is nice obviously as we'd expect you've got the manual a couple of little spare fuses always like touches like that getting spare little fuses always a handy thing and um, always shows that a manufacturer takes a little bit of thought about the customer like that that's good and typical KN of course solid aluminium remote mm. control it's, nice. uh, it's beautiful um, thing about KN's remote controls, they actually build them themselves, they make them themselves. So these are factory made, uh, aluminium solid, um, and you can see there's a little screen print of their company logo, which is nice as well. It's a brushed, it's a really soft aluminium f finish, of very high quality aluminium used. Um, four buttons for your, your input select, your volume control. Um, and you've got a negative feedback and that's really nice we'll go into this in more detail but this amp has negative feedback adjustment uh, 0 to negative 3 dB adjustments and rather than having to do it on the amp which most valve amps that have this function you've got to physically go to the amp and tweak and adjust you've actually got a button on the remote control that flicks between the negative feedback settings input as well which is sometimes not always the case on valve amps you can flick the inputs uh, and then your volume up and down. So nice touches and some really clever design there, I think. So I'll ask Gordon to help me out with this now. We're just going to remove the top packing. And you can see that, again, we have a protective uh, cotton sheet uh, that covers the amp. And we've got a little plinth here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll lift this out and we'll pop it on the plinth. So. So it's 37 kilograms this amplifier, so it's not light. And we're just getting our... There we go. And okay. out she comes. Perfect. And we'll now... Remove the... Back, yeah, it? big transformers. We've got toroidal transformers here, as you would imagine. That's it, Gordon. Perfect. That's great. So here, obviously, we've now got our 
our CS845 a unboxed. Um, maybe a good time to talk about the basic specs uh, of this particular amplifier. Um, we are talking 24 watts per channel, uh, full class A, which is nice. Uh, so plenty drive for uh, for literally any loudspeaker. We just haven't had an issue with this driving anything, even something in the mid 80 dBs. It drives it comfortably, so that's nice. Um, we've got, as you have a look at the amp itself, the quality and the fit and the finish of this amplifier is really quite exemplary. Um, if, if if you feel, and I know you can't with the video, but I can assure you the, the, the feel of the volume as it rolls across the wiper and the, and, and the potentiometer, it's got a beautiful silky movement. The input selector is an infinity selector, so it can run all round both ways. Uh, obviously, it'll, it'll indicate the input on the front. The front panel, again, is just, the quality is incredible. We get all different flavours of aluminium finishing amplifiers and uh, this is just the top of the tree in terms of fit and finish. Uh, the brush on this aluminium is is, is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, think, we talk about specification, we talk about valves. So we've got obviously, as one would imagine by the name, we've got two uh, 845 uh, uh, power valves. We've got, which is my favourite design with 845s, we've got two 300Bs as the driver valves and then supported with six SN7 uh, Shigwangs at the front. Um, three transformers at the back, uh, thus contributing to its almost 40 kilogram weight, as you probably saw us removing this from the box. It needs two people to remove it. Um, interestingly, KN um, actually uh, write the specifications for the transformers. Now, I point that out because that's quite unusual. Most manufacturers will take off the shelf transformers. KN write their own specifications for these, and that's really, really important. So we'll remove the, the valve cage. And again, you can see that's one of these amplifiers that comes with the valves in place. Uh, we've got a nice little protection uh, strip here as, as well, which is a nice touch. So in movement, nothing can touch the, the beautiful, I've got to say, high gloss finish. It's like an anthracite grey finish on the amp here, as you can see. And honestly, if we look at the finish on this, it's again, absolutely world class. Uh, we're used to various amps that we get and have done over the decades, having mixture of uh, finishes. Kien is, again, absolutely uh, fantastic in terms of their uh, quality of finish. So, valves come in situ, which is nice. O often what you find when valves are, 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 are supplied in socket is that, you know, you can get, you need to just make sure that everything's nicely seated. But again, each individual valve is packed and, uh, and covered. So, myself and Gordon will just remove the, the covers now on the valve. So, there's your 845s. 6S N 7s at the front and Gordon's just finally removing the last one on the last 300B. So you can see that these valves um, are, or I should point out, that the KN 845s and the KN 300s are all hand matched. So each amplifier has its own specific hand matched set of power valves and driver valves and the Shigwangs obviously complementing with it being the 6S uh, N 7s as I said uh, uh, previously. Now one of the great things about this amplifier I've got to say is that often with valve amplifiers, in terms of biasing and general maintenance, we're used to it being slightly problematic to look at biasing. Uh, KN take all the potential uh, running and maintenance issues, make them so simple with this amplifier. You'll see um, on the very front panel here, we've got uh, toggle return switches for bias select for A1 and A2. Uh, this is our A1 power valve and this is our A2 power valve. So toggling these switches will enable the bias uh, to be adjusted. There are bias potentiometers uh, here beside A1 and then similarly again here beside A2, nicely accessible from the top cover. And there's a lovely bias gauge uh, at the back. And this bias gauge, you can see there's a bolded zone uh, just in the middle there, thanks Steve. And when we adjust our bias of these valves with these potentiometers, then all we need to make sure is that the needle obviously lies in the bias zone, and we know we've, we've got everything uh, wonderfully set up in terms of our right and our left channel. That's something I would always say that we want to, with, with a valve amp being so easy as this is to check the biasing, I would say that, you know, every, every month, um, I would say it's worth having a little check of the bias. 
um, and making the fine adjustments that you need. Obviously, if you change the 845s, you would do that automatically and put, uh, uh, you know, different 845 valves in. You would immediately check the biasing and make the same adjustment. Um, but what is a little bit more unusual about this amp, in a good way, is it's also got hum adjustment. Now, you see, if we come round here, you'll see there's a, a hum balance uh, adjustment for A2. And similarly here, of course, hum balance adjustment for A1. Um, that's a wonderful, wonderful um, uh, piece of specification to have on this uh, on this uh, amp. And uh, you know, often if there's no hum, it's great. If you do have a hum, if there's a reaction with the mains and something of that ilk, then adjustments uh, uh, are, are built into this amp to let you reduce that or remove it entirely, which is lovely. And people who own valve amps will know all about that. Um, again, if we look on the front panel here, again, we've got a negative feedback return toggle switch. Now I mentioned you've got effectively two settings. You've got zero and then you've got negative 3 dB. So if we go over to the uh, uh, the panel here, you'll see the normal inputs being indicated. pre and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then we've got your two settings here for the negative feedback. So these will illuminate depending on what we've set. Zero is, of course, uh, as it would be at the box, but we've got an option on negative three. And that, again, allows the negative feedback to be adjusted, and it may well be that given your speakers that you're using, one or the other of these settings would be perfect for you. So now we're at the back of the amplifier, and again, the attention to detail doesn't uh, doesn't stop, which is nice. If we look at the inputs, again, we're all gold plated um, and rose gold um, at the at the fulcrum points. So we've got three line level inputs. Uh, we've got a pre input, which again, I really like that. So if we want to use this as a power amp, perhaps. Uh, the customer's got a really good pre-amplifier that he wants to keep, but use this as a, a very high-end power amp. Again, we can do that. We've got tape outputs as well, which is nice, nice uh, uh, addition there too. And then as with uh, almost all valve amps, of course, we've got our uh, 0 and our 4 and 8 ohm taps for the loudspeaker of choice. Um, and again, people often immediately assume if they've got a 4 ohm, they'll use the 4 ohm. If they've got an 8 ohm, they'll use the 8 ohm. But I always say try, you know, try the alternative because they will give a different tonal character. Uh, you will get a different drive uh, and it's, uh, you can do no damage and certainly it's worth trying both. Standard IEC input too, um, so all your standard power cords will work. Other thing that you'll be, uh, or some people will be familiar with, there's nothing, there's nothing close, there's nothing in close proximity to the IEC input. So if you have one of the bigger cylinder IEC plugs, there's nothing to foul, there's nothing to uh, to cause any any problem there. So uh, you know, nicely designed. If we look down as well at the back, you'll see the solid aluminium feet uh, that are used here. Now, interestingly about this particular amplifier, it's a, 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 a sandwich chassis design. Um, so again, as far as isolation is concerned for vibration, uh, KN have taken every care to make sure that the product that uh, we unbox is as high performing as it can actually be. Um, so beautifully designed in the back, best materials. Again, gold-plated uh, binding posts as well. Can take both bananas, obviously, through the middle. And obviously, if we unscrew, we've got um, standard spade connections, which could be used as well. Again, gold, gold plating in there uh, as well. So what we'll do next is we will uh, we will power up and, uh, and have a, a little talk through. We'll show the biasing again and we'll show how this all works. So we've now, we've connected in um, our speaker cables. And one thing to always point out if you've never owned a valve amplifier before is uh, never power on a valve amplifier unless you have a load on the back, i.e. your speaker's connected. And it's really important that there's a load on the binding post on the back before uh, we actually power up. So we've got our speaker cables in, obviously our power cord, uh, audio quest cables we're using here. Um, so we'll power on the CS845A. Now you'll see that it goes through a soft start procedure, which is nice. So on the main volume potentiometer, there's a flashing uh, line um, sunk into the volume pot, and it will flash until the soft start circuitry has applied uh, the right voltage to the valves and that everything's up to a, a minimum temperature and a minimum um, uh, level before it'll allow you to play. Um, obviously the usual beautiful glow of the 845s. Um, again, uh, you can see that the the bias gauge in the middle illuminates the same uh, uh, type of colour, which is which is which is nice. I always like that kind of attention to detail. Um, but everything warming up now, so you can see now if we look on the front panel again, the volume pot 
and the uh, the the white line and uh, the volume line is now uh, in a constant, which means it's gone through its soft start and it's ready for us to enjoy. And um, so we'll talk about the front panel here again. Now we can see it in more detail. On standard default boot up, you'll see it clearly it'll uh, it will select line one, and it will have the negative feedbacking set at zero dB, standard default position. With the infinity uh, control on the right, again, we can just flick through our inputs. You can hear the high quality relays clicking in and out. And again, as mentioned before, we do have a pre-input option here to use it as a power amplifier, uh, but everything very easily uh, identified from the front. And again, if we look at the negative feedback indications, if we flick our toggle switches, um, which is here, and we'll go into the bias select in a minute, but we just flick it up once, and you can see now that it toggles over to the negative three. We flick it up, it returns automatically, and it flicks back to zero. So, uh, you know, again, nicely engineered. And I think one of the, one of the, I say the great aspects of this is how easy it is to modify the bias. So we'll show you that now. Again, we've got biases uh, and bias toggle switches for both uh, A1 and for A2. And what these are re uh, return flick switches. So as you saw with the negative feedback switch, they don't flick up and stay, they flick and then flick directly back. So they're sprung. Um, so when we're adjusting the valves, we push it up and we hold it in that position. So let's just check, first of all, uh, normally you would wait, you know, a good probably half an hour before we would normally uh, look at the bias uh, voltages uh, to let everything get absolutely up to top temperature. Um, again, always important to, to bias your valves without music playing through it because that can affect the bias reading slightly. So we want to adjust the bias uh, while it's in its stasis mode. So again, if we I've got a little jeweler screwdriver here um, to adjust the two bias pots. So first of all, we'll flick the A1, which is the valve on the left hand side. And if we look, we can see the bias gauge. And if I just drop that again and flick it again, you can see, yep, and we're reading a little bit low. So if I just simply take our little adjustment pot and adjust it across clockwise, then we've got it pretty much in the middle there. You can see we've now got that nicely centered and that's how we want it. And again, we'll flick that off and we'll go to the valve on the right hand side. And again, if we flick again, if we center in on that bias gauge, we can see it's running yet again, a little bit low. So we want to adjust that up right into the middle and easily done, easily checked. So again, we release it and it pops back down to zero again. Now, as I say, we've done this earlier than we normally would. You would normally leave the valve amp on for about half an hour before we adjust the biases. And, and as I said previously, it's a bias because it's so easy to check. I guess, depending on how, how much attention to detail we have with our uh, with our hi-fi equipment, um, I know some people will check it before every listening session. But when it's as easy as that, why wouldn't you? And it's something actually really fun to get involved with. You're getting more interaction with your hi-fi. I love this aspect to it. And again, KN have made this particularly easy for us to... Uh, to maintain and to look after and enjoy, of course. So the I mentioned on the original unboxing that we had a remote control. And the great thing about the remote control is, as I say, there's, there's no batteries in here just now. But I mentioned that rather than having to go up to the amp to change negative feedback and inputs, which is normally the case, actually, with, as I say, with valve amplifiers, we actually have the ability to do it from the remote control. And that gives us, you know, a, a great way, great flexible way of sitting there. And if we're listening and we want to determine which negative feedback setting we prefer, we don't have to stop our music, come over, adjust it, sit back. We can sit there and flick between the two negative feedback settings as we're listening to the same piece of music. So that's fantastic. So again, it's little things like that that these guys take incredible care and attention about. So that, that is our uh, KN CS845A integrated amp. Um, we have this on demo, and we normally have a range of KN amps on demo at the shop. So we'd certainly welcome you to give us a call to chat about it in more detail. Uh, and certainly, if you want to arrange either a demo in the shop or you have the benefit of listening to this amplifier at home, we can do that for you as well. Uh, no obligation home demo available in all the KN range. So thanks for listening and watching, guys. It's um, been really good to talk you through this amp and look forward to speaking with you. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.